There's a new report on breast implants out there that many women who are thinking about having breast implants may want to listen up, and those of you who have them will also want to know. Uh, here to discuss the new guidelines is Dr. Dave David, a cosmetic surgeon and a woman's health expert. And we're so glad that you could be with us this morning, sir. Thank you. Now, and why are you here on such a nice day inside? I know. Working? Tell me about it. Isn't that the truth? Shouldn't we be all outside. be out? We deserve it at this point. That is certain. Uh, doctor, first off, you were just telling me that. You have maybe not um, done these surgeries directly yourself, but certainly been involved with patients who have breast implants. Sure, yeah, I am a cosmetic surgeon, mainly do the vasor, lipo, and the area and facial things, mm -hmm. but I've assisted on a lot of the cases of implants. And in Southern California, as an OBGYN for many years, as you can imagine, about one out of four of my patients sure. have breast implants, so we're always dealing with the complications of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So let's talk about the FDA's new guidelines and, and what exactly they are. Well, they actually came out last Wednesday, Kim, and basically what it's saying is the implants are safe. We're not saying there's any danger, but it's like let the buyer or consumer or patient beware, saying, listen, if you get your implants done, it may not be forever. The study that they did with uh, Allergan and Johnson & Johnson who make the implants basically say that, hey, about 50% uh, of women who get these implants for construction, reconstruction reasons like cancer right. will need it redone within 10 years. And if you get it done for cosmetic reasons, even those patients, about one out of five or 20%, will need them redone within 10 years. And that's a huge number. Now, tell me when you say redone, do you mean you actually have to have the implant taken out and a new one put in? Is yeah, that what we're saying? Yeah, basically that's it. Other okay. things have been tried, Kim, but a lot of scar tissue forms, it's called encapsulation. Mm -hmm. They try to break up the scar tissue and leave it as is. Mm -hmm. is it really doesn't work. A lot of these implants actually rupture where the silicone comes out, and then you've got sure. a mess in there, and you right. have to get it cleaned up and get a new implant in there. Okay, so let's talk about why this has suddenly changed and why they're saying this. Are they finding that more women are having them rupture? What's the reason? Well, I think they've done some follow-up studies, which is important. Back in 92, um, uh, the FDA actually took silicone off the market mm -hmm. and actually banned it. And then, uh, because they thought it was contributing to certain kinds of cancers and lupus, they found out that was nonsense. So what they did in 2006, they finally said, okay, silicone's okay now, but you need to do ongoing studies to mm -hmm. the company. Sure. They've done some studies. They haven't gotten great follow-up, but basically they found out that they are safe, but they found this enormous number of patients who had to get them redone. We all knew that. This is no big news, but the news media didn't get hold of it, and right. it wasn't known to the general public. Right. Okay, so let's say you're a woman who has breast implants, and uh, you've had them for about five to eight years right now. What do you suggest that woman do? Does she well, need to go to her doctor, have them checked? What do you do? Sure. Well, I mean, first of all, like anything else, a woman should always check her breasts regularly anyway and see the doc. But the FDA actually recommends about every two years getting an MRI done if you've got implants, especially the silicone ones, to make sure they're not rupturing or encapsulating. Because a lot of times the rupture, especially with silicone, you don't even know what's happening. Right. It just, right. It's asymptomatic, but it can eventually cause pain and deformity. But in a large number of patients, they don't even know that it ruptured. Now, if you get to that 10-year mark and you've had no issues with your breast implants, do you leave them be or is it best precautionary purposes just have them removed and have another set put yeah. in well you know you're putting me on the spot it's like <laughs> it's like playing the odds though i mean maybe is, a woman right. can go her whole life and never have it i don't believe that you sh they should necessarily routinely get them redone in 10 years if they're doing well have had good follow-up good for you you're not one of that 20 percent Mm -hmm. and, and there's a lot of things we're doing now with use uh, for alternatives of implanting the patient's own fat for a breast augmentation. And like the vasor lipo that I do, we harvest really good fat, pure fat, and some docs are actually putting it in the breast too. Sure. Uh, so let me just go back and ask you this question that you've already answered, but I'm going to ask you one more time. Are silicone breast implants safe? Yes, they are. There you go. You've answered it. <laughs> <laughs> you just me one good. question? We I could have asked you that early on. Huh? Great to see Great you. To see Thank you, you very good much for coming you. in to see us. All right. For more information, you can go to medfacebody.com.